Welcome back to another episode of You Both Suck. It's your boy, Dara Pollock. <laughs> it's your girl, Kunal Aurora. <laughs> Should I do that again? <laughs> I-, I liked it. <laughs> All right, fine. We can keep it. Fuck it. Because also, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're doing great. And I hope that you will like, rate, review, subscribe, leave a... Uh, a comment. I don't know what else. <laughs> yeah, leave a leave a review. Leave yes. a comment. Leave a message. Mm-hmm. Leave a squabble. Leave a message after the tone. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's I walked in show. here and Dara goes, "You look like you've been punched in the eye," <laughs> and I go, "Cool. Good to see you too." Well, you're not wearing your glasses. I'm not. Today. I'm not. I, I'm wearing I contacts today. Didn't really register that right. at first, so I guess it was just more clear. Today. It hides the abuse. <laughs> That's what it does. See, but don't you think this is, we talked about this sure. once. If you just, you know, put on a little concealer, no one would know. I'm, I have the darkest circles. I'm not, I don't care for the concealer. Interesting. It's like, I might as well dye, you know, I guess I could dye my hair also. No, but the hair is not a problem. No sure, one sure, cares. sure. I understand that. But I didn't think anybody cared about the dark circles either. And I if mean, they do, I don't give a shit. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, fair. That's the I other thing. Know. I think it's just funny when I walked in and I haven't seen you in a while and you're like, you look like you got punched in one eye. And I go, cool. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, good to see you too. <laughs> Hope you had a good memorial day. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. Um, but yeah, I have some dating updates. Okay. I thought I would share. We can kind of kick things off with that if that's cool with nice. you. Let me, let me quickly do my dating update. Okay. All right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Um, well, so I think the last episode we spoke about the guy who uh, was basically inviting me over uh, as like a second date situation. Yes, yes, yes. Well, so for the sex. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And yeah. then the third or fourth date came around. I think it was fourth date, whatever. And he did the same thing again. He just right. invited me over again, and I was just like, "I'm not, I'm not doing this." Like clearly, as so I, I, I did it. I was just like, "Well, clearly, we want two different things." Sure. And he was kind of like arguing with me a little. He was like pushing back. He was just like, "Oh, I don't know what you're talking about." Blah blah. And I was just like, "Oh, so you're gaslighting me now? Like, cool, you know?" Mm-hmm. And then we just we went back and forth, and I really didn't want to give too much detail because I was like. This isn't a relationship, you know, we sure, don't need you to don't have owe a nobody big, nothing. Right. Like we don't yeah. need to have a big to do about this. But he kept pushing and kept making me feel like I was overreacting or like I was being crazy. So then I was like, look, if you want me to line this out for you point by point of things that I thought were kind of fucked up, I'll do that. And I gave him like a couple points. And then he basically shut up after that. And he was just like, I didn't even factor that in. I didn't even take it into consideration. And I was like, well, now this you do. This is the thing. I'm always on two sides of this, Mm -hmm. right? Because on the one hand, it's just like you don't owe nobody nothing to educate them about anything that they're up to. Right. They should have some semblance of awareness. But then the other aspect becomes, well, then where do they learn? That's the thing. I was like, you know, I didn't want to tell him because it also does make you seem a little, not crazy, but over analytical of a lot of little things. But I'm sorry, in the beginning stages of dating, little things are kind of important. No, those are all the flags. And that's what I'm saying. So it was like... What did you lay out for him? Well, so like literally the week prior, uh, he texted me on a weekend. It was like a Sunday. And he was like... Hey, what are you up to today? If you have an hour or two, I'd be down to clown. And I was just like, that's, <laughs> that's not a date. <laughs> you want to hang out for an hour? <laughs> Literally, what else could you possibly be what asking What are you, my for? chiropractor? Okay. Like, what's wrong with you? But you are aware he's asking for sex. Yes, okay. obviously he's asking for sex. <laughs> I was like, I don't have sex with my chiropractor. So. Well, I'm just saying like that, that's yeah. like an hour. You know but I mean? that's what I mean. Yeah. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Do you yes. think I'm dumb? Do you think I was born fucking yesterday? Right, right. Did you ask him, when you mean clown, what do you mean? <laughs> I, I said, I remember actually responding to that text and being like, define down to clown. <laughs> right. And what did he say? He just said, like, grab a drink or something like yeah, that. But I was right, like, right, right. right, right. Bo- yeah, yeah, we could grab a drink 14 feet from my apartment. Exactly. I was just like, or I think he even said you could come over. It was something yes. like that. And then on top of that, it's like, there was something else too. Fellas, you're not slick. Yeah, you're not getting away with that kind of yeah, shit. It's I'm just, sorry. Just be honest about it. And like, if you wanted to be like, if he texted you, mm-hmm. hey, I'd really like to come over. I'd really like for you to come over yeah. and for us to... Hook up. Or not even that, but it's also or like you could just say, come over. It's like, we know what you mean. You yes. know what I'm saying? But right. I, so I pointed that out. And then I mm-hmm. think I also mentioned like how we didn't text really that much other than when it was like 
making plans to just, yeah, like, I guess for the date, which in the beginning is like fine-ish, but after like three dates, I would like a little more communication than that. Sure. And like, that's just me. But, you know, then he says like, oh, well, you know, that's not really fair because like I'm busy and all this stuff. And I was just like, but this is the thing. I shouldn't have to explain to you what it's like to like somebody. In my opinion, if you if you like somebody, you're talking to them at least a little every day, yeah. especially in the beginning stages 100%. when it's exciting. So yeah. I'm sorry. You're always hyped to see that text message exactly. thing pop up. Yeah. And this, I also want to say one more thing about fellas being slick. Mm. This is the thing. Y women are on guard from being, <laughs> from the potential of maybe being raped yeah. or murdered. Right. The, you think that they're not going to be aware of what you're up to? Exactly. Like, that's crazy to be like, oh, let me do this underhanded, subtle nonsense. They see it all. They have to. Their lives depend on it. Literally. Don't be stupid. Mm -hmm. Just be direct. I agree. Ugh. Yeah, so, I agree. So, yeah. I, and, like, I, and then this other aspect of where you're coming at, like, you guys are talking. You've mm -hmm. gone on a few dates. Mm -hmm. I mean, the communication at like this whole I'm too cool for school nonsense. Yeah. You got to cut that out, too. Right. Yeah. It's unnecessary. I mean, you don't have to be. And I said to him, I was like, I'm not the type of girl who likes to be texting all day, every day, because sure. that creates, I think, a false sense of connection. Right. And I don't need that either. And I'm also busy. If I'm like editing, nothing annoys me more than when a guy is like up my ass texting me and I'm trying to like edit the pod. I'm trying to edit photos, whatever I'm doing. I right. just don't want that. But a little bit of something every day, if you like the person, is just, I feel like, what normally naturally yeah. happens. Yeah. What's going on? Right. How's it going? How's it going? Good morning, queen. No. No, okay. absolutely not. You know how I feel <laughs> I know, about the I good know, morning I know, text. I know. I'm just teasing. But then yeah. I also, then I was talking to somebody else and I got a good morning text that was a good, good morning text. It right. was a good morning followed by a plan. Yeah. Like that's a good, good morning text or a right. follow, like a question of a plan. Like, can you do this? And I was like, that's the way you're supposed to do a good morning text. But anyway, separate, separate complaints, separate conversations. So anyway, that I had to end. And he was like, I forgot what he said, but I was like, you didn't realize that all of those little things affected how I felt about you. Cause like, mm -hmm. yeah, I did like you like at first, but then you started treating me like a buddy and it made me feel differently towards you. It made me not like you, mm -hmm. you know? So it was just like, I had to end it. And that was pretty much it. Beautiful. Know? Good. But, I'm happy you got out. Yeah. Um, but then the other thing, when I was telling a friend of mine about it, she was saying like how, so much gets lost via text versus a phone call. And I agree with that. Yeah. However, do you think that it's better to straight up call somebody that you're dating in the beginning or is it texting first? Because I'm a big believer in texting first. I don't really like the phone unless I'm super comfortable with the person. How long in are we talking here? Like a few dates. A few dates? Yeah. I'm I, not picking up the fucking phone. I think you gotta. Oh, I'm not I at think all. speed it up. You Is know that what because mean? they didn't have texting when you and Dina met? Yes, that's very true. We, we communicated by smoke. <laughs> I wanted all the smoke. <laughs> telegrams yeah i would send her a pigeon <laughs> yes. she was she would call she'd eventually call me and be like tell me she's been terrified by birds all day Aww. and she didn't know that i was trying to send her a, a note noted yeah uh -huh. but it's no i i'm not doing it no i don't like I, it i think that a few dates in the reason why i think the phone call is is a good idea is yeah. because it cuts through the noise there's a lot of people who's they can text mm -hmm. like champions that's me i'm a i'm a good texter yeah. too yeah yeah because I know how to like take a second, really get, you mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm witty and all that stuff. It's yep. great. Yep. But I think when you get on the phone, now we're cooking. Okay, now we're here... cooking with grease. <laughs> you know, it's cooking with gas, right? Is it? You've said this so many times. I don't care. I had to I'm not. <laughs> my parents were born in a village. I don't my know. dad does stuff like that too. Yeah. He'll like mix up like idioms and I'm like, that's exactly. not what that is. He's yeah. a foreigner. It's fine. Exactly. Um, okay. But that's a good point And I agree with that. Mm -hmm. But if it's just to like, like I don't call people to bullshit. I know you do though. Oh, I love me See, some. I, I don't do that. But that's want, why I'm like, I don't need I this want to show you that I'm good with the banter because the band we're going to spend time together. Yeah. So I want you to know, like talking Save it for in person. Yeah. But to me, like a good conversation is like something that's really dope. 
I, I agree with that. I love sure. a good conversation. But for me and other people I know feel this way too. Right. If you're not good on the phone, I'm not good on the phone because I find it that everybody's talking over each other when you're on the phone. And I think that that's a product of our generation now with yeah. like, you know, TikTok culture. A lot of my friends, I find that when I'm on the phone with them, it's like we're just talking at each other and no one's really listening and it just feels like you're doing a lot of this or you're going what uh, oh i'm sorry <laughs> no good uh, oh go ahead yeah uh okay yeah uh, i can see it, that that I mean? happens I but i fucking hate that i understand that but i think that gives you a bit of an understanding as to how you may be and how you treat each other with consideration in terms of like let's say if you cut me off to say something mm -hmm. and then uh, i'll be like oh wait and if it's not that important to me i'll be like no no, no. what were you gonna say yeah, of you course. Know what I, mean? I do so that then, too, but right. I don't like it. I feel like it makes it so awkward and uncomfortable. I think that it, to me, lets me know like what kind of a considerate person you may be. I don't know. To me, I feel like you can find those things out very easily in through person. text. No, not through okay, text. Okay, right. In person. That's that's why if you're not gonna, if it's you know, if you're not hanging out, like maybe it won't be for like a week or like three, oh, four oh, days. Oh, that's also different. Let me yeah. clarify, because like I and I was like. Hmm, trying to think who this was but either way doesn't matter but somebody I was dating uh we weren't going to see each other for like a week and a half and mm. there were phone calls because right. of that and right. it's like okay that I can understand but if you're still like seeing each other with some regularity and like you talk every day to some extent you know I don't feel like I need to be on the phone with you no I just mm. don't I don't know like I would love to hear what the people think absolutely but I feel like you can get plans made almost easier in a way with text messages right because, because the, that it's is all there it's all there it's yeah. written out you can mm -hmm. do that when you're discussing plans then i could see the opportunity or like the reasoning for a phone call because somebody you wanna... jumps mediums and goes you're texting back and forth for plans mm -hmm. and then they go can you take a you got space for a call uh, sure that's yeah. different but okay. that's the other thing too is like i feel like text you know it's a little bit more convenient because i can reply when i can reply mm -hmm. if somebody calls me in the middle of the day very good chance i'm just not going to pick up the phone right and then i don't want them to feel slighted mm. and then you got to text back and be like sorry i'm in a meeting whatever what it's about like, you know, the the impromptu facetime fuck that although okay. i do have a friend who does this he knows who he is and he does this and like for him i make the exception right but Anybody else really? Absolutely not. I think that's insane. I like the impromptu FaceTime. Has it been, have you had this from somebody that you were dating? Again, I don't know if they had it back then. Um, so. The technology wasn't there yet. We, well, used, so I had a, we used Skype back in my day. Right, right. Well. No, I mean, friends of mine, like Shane, previous yeah. guest, mm -hmm. occasionally will FaceTime me. It's different. You guys are really close friends. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The person I'm referring to is a really close friend and okay. I will allow it from him. But I w remember I was not even on a first date with this guy yet. I'm going back years now, mm -hmm. but not even a first date yet. And he FaceTimed me Face three times in a row. I was like, you're a psycho. Yeah. We're done. Right. Goodbye. Yeah. When you <laughs> no. get rejected with a FaceTime, they don't pick up. Mm -mm. Um, you don't keep calling. You got to take that L and move on. Do you have friends that call you will call you twice back to back? Um, honestly, no, not, not twice back to back. No. I've got friends who are like, they're just That's like, crazy. I'll call you once. You yeah. don't pick up. They're like, I know you're near your phone. <laughs> They'll call you again. <laughs> no. I've had friends do that. And it's like reckless to me. Well, or maybe it's a me thing where they feel like they can get away with it. Um, maybe? cause I don't get, I don't get angry enough. I think. That's probably true. But yeah. the other thing I was going to say is um, this drives me crazy. When you message someone back on like, let's say Instagram DM mm -hmm. and then they call you because they know you got your phone in your hand. That is manipulative shit. And I have two friends who do this. I'll jump <laughs> to I'll jump that. to the same medium. I'll go DM to text. DM to text I do also. DM to text is fine. Because I don't have notifications on for my DMs. I miss my DMs same. all the time. Same. So I'll be like, same. I'll text you. Yes. DM to text is acceptable. DM, DM to phone call calls unacceptable yeah. should be penalized ticket for $25 agree come correct do not do that shit I you hate can't it. jump extreme mediums like that but see then doesn't that also make the case going back to it full circle that calling is a lot more like effort and it's a lot more time consuming and just more annoying if we're texting back and forth and then i jump to a phone call no 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 no. Fine. unless it's been preempted fair enough I guess. but it's like if i call you mm -hmm. and then you text me back what's up you can go right to hell. Oh, no, that's different. But that's I will also say, like, I'm in a meeting or I'm doing something. Because that's sure. the thing with texting, too. You can fucking multitask when you're texting. That's I true. text from iMessage on my computer a lot of times, and I'm doing multiple things. I can't I do that with the phone. I 
love to text through my computer. Same. iMessage is amazing. It makes it's me fantastic. feel like AIM all yeah. over again. Yeah, oh, 100%. I want nothing. When yeah. people are we're chatting via through uh, text, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be a text conversation, I'll put my phone away. Yeah, Like, exactly. let's get on the keyboard. 100%. I let's agree. play the keys. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Tickle the keys. <laughs> Anyhow. Well, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that, but would love to hear what the people think on mm-hmm. that one. Yeah. Well, so this is another thing that came up. I would like to make this clear that this was not me because mm. I don't do this. I think it's creepy, but I was talking to somebody about the use of the word daddy. Okay. And I was like, and they said that their friend who's like our age still calls their dad daddy. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but past the age of 12, daddy is not acceptable. Yeah, absolutely An adult not. who says daddy, yeah. it, it bothers me on a cellular level. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm unhinged when I hear daddy. I, and I'll I don't accept... like it in bed either. It's not for me. No. Don't like it at no, all. No, no, no. I'll accept all. papa. <laughs> I don't mind Stop. papa. I swear papa I think is really refined. That's um, insane. Papa is all right. <laughs> papa is fine. Because but daddy has become so sexualized. Well, that's what I mean. That I don't yeah. want it in any which way. Like daddy across the board. Yeah. Yeah, zaddy I kind of like. Zaddy I kind of like. I kind of like zaddy. I don't know why. Daddy feels disgusting. Yeah, zaddy has like a flair to it yeah, that it I'm does. okay with, but it's right. still but like None of that in bed though. No, no. No, no, no. no none no, no. of it in bed. Yeah, I don't want anyone go- <laughs> However, I will say of the father synonyms, okay. in terms of in bed, mm. the one that I think is the most the best the most acceptable uh-huh. poppy <laughs> i knew poppy. why did i know you were gonna say that because i am queens that's, baby that's, i am culture that's why. you're right yeah i was gonna say mommy and poppy is but, like yeah mommy two. and poppy is i I'm then again still, i don't no. think i would ever call a woman mommy while having sex with her but that's the same shit i understand that but i think being called poppy acceptable being mm. called mommy no 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 yeah yeah that's gross yeah, no i don't you like don't that. yeah you're not with any of those no i'm not yeah. with any of that i, I mean do you want someone gross. saying your name I, 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 name is 10 times better. No, of course. I'm just asking what's your, th- you know, oh, oh, what's like, your thing? I don't, I don't mind when they no. say my name. That's fine. Um, it's not, I a, like it when they say my name. I prefer it. Weirdly enough. I feel like that's, yeah, I could be wrong on this, but I think that's a, f- like men like that more than like women do. I don't put as big of an emphasis on that for myself, but I, I know guys like it. I, I think also because my name isn't common, so to me it feels even yeah, better. That makes sense. You know what I mean? I mean neither so, is mine, but I don't I don't care about that really. Like yeah, they can, but, the, but there's a yeah, there's a I think that I like baby, if anything. Baby? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, baby is like, eh, because it's not like you're saying baby. No, no, no. You can't do it <laughs> in a cutesy like, way. Baby. Like yeah, it's baby. Yeah, well, okay. Baby. <laughs> it sounds so terrible. <laughs> baby? It sounds like fat bastard, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what that sounds like. Uh, yeah, but I, I would take that, I think. Um, Mia Moore? <laughs> I like Mia Moore. Mia Moore is great. I would literally crack up mid coitus yeah. if someone said Mia Moore, Mia Moore and they weren't like of Latin descent. What, if I they're not like, of Latin descent, hilarious. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'd be like, get out. Yeah, but yeah, also absolutely. That, it could be funny, I suppose. It, it would be pretty funny for a guy who, to not be Latin and just be <laughs> Mia Moore. And then they well, cock the head back. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, none of that for me. Okay. Uh, okay. We can, we can move on now. Anyway. Let's get into our submission. Let's get into this it. This is a beefy one. Yeah. <clears throat> we call so, this submission beefaroni. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't. Yeah, I was going to say thank you, Kunal, for finding yet another really long submission for me to read. I like listening to you read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. Some people have said that to me in the past. Really? Which I cannot understand. You have a good reading voice. But do I? Because my voice is not that Well, this great. is why your reading voice is good. Because oh. you cut out all that other nonsense that you're usually muttering about. That's why. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, cause, because if for those who've listened to the podcast and those who are new, when you hear Dara like on a day-to-day, as I will encounter, <laughs> she'll mutter stuff to herself and be like, <laughs> you know, like she'll just say stuff like that. She'll do weird accents and weird mutterings to herself. Like she's been, she honestly talks like she's alone indefinitely. I mean, yeah, I'm just preparing. Right. I get, see what I mean? Even a remark like that is an, is obnoxious. And it's like, so she'll say she talks like that. So when you hear her read, it's just her sounding normal. I guess And so true. it sounds great. Yeah. But if you're like hanging around with her, she'll just be like, 
there's little sausages everywhere. <laughs> and it's like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. No um, problem. But yeah, my uh, hairstylist also said to me recently, she was like, yeah, you have a good like podcast voice. And I was like, I do. But yeah, I take don't know. the compliment. I'll you take degenerate. it. I'll take it. But yeah. anyway. Um, <laughs> all right so this i love how you're about to sell this real hard now <laughs> now i'm gonna fuck up everything mm-hmm. um but this is from reddit uh it is honestly the title of this is absolutely terrible so i'm i don't think i'm even gonna read it forget it let's just move right into the submission the only thing is uh this person did not give ages here so we're just gonna have to assume that they're adults of some kind yeah um okay My boyfriend and I went to his sister's wedding over the weekend. It was the first time I met his family. We left Thursday evening and came back yesterday. For context, my boyfriend James is British while my family is not, so this might be a contributing factor as to why the weekend was pretty uncomfortable, which it was. On the way home yesterday, James was talking about meeting my family sometime soon, and I said maybe when my dad is next in town, because he lives in Spain. James joked he hoped he'd pass the dad test, and I said my dad isn't that kind of parent. I made some joke about this weekend being a Balmoral test, and if I passed. James got kind of squirmy and said it wasn't a big deal, but I didn't make the best impression on his family. I obviously asked what he meant. Things I apparently did that were faux pas. Woke up too early and dressed for breakfast. Chose to go pick up food with my boyfriend and his dad rather than staying with his mum and sisters. Wasn't friendly enough to the kids didn't eat enough, said no to too many offers, snacks, tea, and shower gel, bought wine I liked at a supermarket. Now, I completely respect their right to feel how they feel about the things that I did. I may not agree, but between cultural and personality differences, if they just didn't like me, that's fair enough. However, I feel like it was a bit unnecessary of James to mention this to me. It seemed like he was fishing for some kind of apology. I said as much, and James said he was just being honest. I said that in the interest of being honest, his family made a bad impression on me too. Things I mentioned that made me uncomfortable. Badgering me about my eating habits. Calling me stunted because I went to boarding school. His mother not allowing me to do anything for myself, such as making my own tea. Repeatedly trying to convince me to play with his sister's kids and telling them to bother me when I said no. His teenage cousins making extremely inappropriate remarks to me at the wedding. The whole family getting absolutely paralytic at the wedding. James said I was being cruel about his family and that I should have kept my comments to myself. He said he was just trying to make the point that I should loosen up when I next see his family. Not saying there was something wrong with me, but I had basically called his family uncouth thugs. I disagree there's any difference in what was said. Am I the asshole for responding to his comment with my own feelings? Right off the bat, points for using uncouth thugs. Yes. Great expression. Yeah. Thugs is great. Uncouth is great. Yes, uncouth is a good one. This person used a lot of fun words. Paralytic was another good one to describe. Getting lit up. Getting, yeah, way too drunk. Oh, let's also just cover the Balmoral test thing. What does that mean? So that's like the royal family. Because I had to Google because I was like, isn't Balmoral like a, I don't know, I'm probably not even saying it right. It's a castle. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You know, it's a royal family situation. And um, I looked it up. It was something about the crown, the show, the crown. They Mm. like talked about it. It's basically like uh, when they meet the royal family for the first time time or some shit like that so that's what that was about and i think that's why she made that joke because he is british and she is not let us begin with the fact that this woman has probably failed the balmoral test (laughs) sounds like it. yeah it sounds like she's failed this balmoral test but it's meeting the family Mm -hmm. is such a stressful thing i agree with that with someone that you're dating sure especially if you like your family Mm -hmm. if you respect members of your family i do not (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. But so okay. I don't care what yeah. their opinion is mm-hmm. on anybody I date. Mm-hmm. I don't care what their thoughts are on anything that I do. Okay. So my girlfriend met my mom relatively early. Mm. And she had asked, does her, how much do you, you know, how much of this would this be an issue? The fact that I'm not Indian. Mm. I said, if you told me to stop talking to my mother, I'd consider it. <laughs> Really? I mean, jokingly. Okay. <laughs> but it's in all seriousness, I don't value what yeah. these th- this the person I spend my time with. Mm. Their opinion matters more mm. because that's the person I spend my time with. I mean, that's, if I live with you, yeah. you think I'm gonna value what my mother thinks? A lot of people do, though. No, I know. Yeah. That's my point. Right. If you are dating somebody who they value their parents' opinions and they are a full ass adult. You're in a bad place. 
You you should it's it's a bad circumstance and it's only going to get messy. I mean, well, there's a difference between valuing your parents' over your <laughs> opinion. opinion. No, 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 not over. That's okay. what I'm saying. There's right. a difference between valuing the parents' opinion and letting it overtake your own. How about this? If you're dating somebody yeah. whose parents' opinion equals or is greater than yours that's yeah then it's a problem i think that's true i mean look a lot of people though are very very close with their families and Idiots. it means <laughs> <laughs> someone has childhood trauma yeah i mean even I mean, if listen, i do too but not yeah. in that respect really I'm, i mean i love my mother yeah i love my mom yeah i love your mom i, I was just gonna say we know where that's going yeah uh, but it's like i think yeah. that i don't i mean at the end of the day this is the person i'm spending my time with yeah i've never let my parents or anybody really in my family influence the way I feel about somebody that's never been a thing for me right. but for a lot of people it is so let's say this guy clearly has big opinions yes. on that um, but like honestly just to address because I, I did like write this down because I feel like we should address these things point by point yes yes that's exactly what I was doing when I had notes oh okay yeah because yeah. like she goes okay so things I apparently did that were faux pas the first one was woke up too early and dressed for breakfast what else are you supposed to do I don't understand I don't understand that are you at supposed all. to sit in your pajamas all day literally what is that supposed to mean I got up early and went, dressed for breakfast if maybe you, they are uncouth thugs. they are they are uncouth <laughs> if you're not able to be comfortable first of all you would think this yeah. if you're visiting your boyfriend's family mm -mm. you're gonna feel insecure there is a slew of them. Yeah. There's one of you. Yeah. So you should at least be comfortable. It's definitely a fish out of water situation. Always. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, how would you, I don't understand how someone's boyfriend could be like, oh, you got dressed you, and ready before everyone else for breakfast. This person wants to feel comfortable. Yeah. You ever get into an argument with somebody, like somebody you're dating mm. and you're not wearing many clothes? Mm, no. No. I don't think so. I'm usually like, I'm not like a walk around naked kind of person. Oh. So I've really never had a fight where I felt like I was vulnerable because if, if that's where you're going, yeah. that's never really Like if I'm me. wearing t-shirt and underwear oh, yeah. and I get into a fight, I'm putting on shorts. Oh yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Yeah. It's like armor a little bit. Exactly. I've definitely been in like PJs, but I don't. Right. PJs are fine yeah, to argue in. That's different. Yeah. They're the evening wear of arguments. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm but... wearing, I'm out here wearing like big pants and a wife beater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're sort of dressed to argue. <laughs> True. Yes, yeah. very true. Anyway, okay, so there's that. That's not even that crazy. But then mm -hmm. this one I think is a little bit, what's the word, misogynistic kind of undertones here that chose to go pick a up little? food with my boyfriend and his dad rather than staying back with the mom and sisters. Sister, yeah. I mean, that's pretty cut and dry. Crazy. Women need to stay with the women kind of All thing. All of these things have yeah. a tone of misogyny. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. that's what I mean. And then doesn't uh, wasn't friendly enough to the kids. That's like, oh, you're a woman and you should be here to reproduce. Right. And we need to see how you are with the kids. It's like this, it's like this guy brought this girl there to see how she would be as a wife i mean but at the end of the day isn't that technically what you're doing when you're introducing somebody to your parents you are but at the same time it's just there are these overwhelming things this is extreme this is extreme yeah. and i think that you know and also it's like you're really making these massive judgments yeah. because they don't want to hang out with the children right exactly who cares yeah like kids smell <laughs> I mean, look, I like kids fine, but I'm sure. also not the type of girl who seeks them out. Like I have friends who you go to somebody else's house and they have kids and they're running right up to the kids. That's on me. But if the kids no. come up to me, I'll talk to them. I'll play with them. I don't care. If you I'm go to like, a party and you run up right to the children, you're a weirdo. I think you're the witch in Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Absolutely. A thousand percent. hundred percent. You're up to something and I don't like I'm it. I'm kidding. Yeah. Don't be hanging out with children. Yeah. They're um, adults there. If there's like only if it's one buddy and yeah. their kid. And that's, yeah. that's it. Obviously, you have to interact yeah, with the course, kid. Yeah, of course. Of course. Right. That's awkward and weird. Um, okay, so there was that. And then didn't eat enough. That to me is, again, they're just like, well, we got to pump her up a little bit. Also, where do these <laughs> people the come off? They're British. Your food isn't good. Your food sucks. Your food stinks. <laughs> so where are you out here just, oh, they didn't eat enough? Yeah, I'm sorry they didn't want enough baked beans or <laughs> blood pudding. Or haggis. Or haggis or, or whatever the hell you eat. dick. Yeah, it's disgusting food. <laughs> You're lucky they eat anything. The only um, redeeming quality is the food you stole from Kunal's people. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
That's great. Phenomenal. Well done. Sorry. No, no. I you mean, have nothing to apologize for. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> in England, mm. that's where butter chicken came from. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. It's fantastic. It, they, they, they took Indian, Indian food and they really elevated it. Yeah, there's well. nothing There's nothing to be ashamed or sorry about. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> and now if you were feeding her butter chicken and she said no, then she's a whole ass loser. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that segues nicely into the next one, which is said no to too many offers. And then in parentheses was snacks, tea and shower gel. Maybe she brought her own shower gel. Also, what are British snacks? Um, Actually, they have some OK snacks. If we're talking about like biscuits, which are cookies. Yeah, but how many but biscuits can a human being eat? That's fair. You know that's what I mean? Point. And also you get a couple yeah. with tea that you can't even get a chance to make your own way. Yeah, that's true. Um, But I will say I do get annoyed with people and this is not like upon first meeting. So it probably doesn't totally relate to this, but mm. I have like a few friends who never will like try things that I offer them. Right. And sometimes that annoys me, especially when Example. I'm like, you got to try this. It's so good. And they're like, <laughs> no. Example. I hate that. Oh, is there any examples like, specifically? Yeah, yeah. Like I went to a, um, like the Italian food festival kind of thing, like San Gennaro. It wasn't San Gennaro, but it was something like that, right? Right. And I was with a friend and we're walking around and I was like, San oh Gennaro is an Italian festival that takes Sorry. place in Little Italy where people, there's like sausage and peppers, vendors, yeah. vendors is games. Yeah. It's like three. It's a street uh, it's, fair. It's a street fair yeah. for like a week long Sorry. and it's Thank mad you. Italian. Thank you for clarifying no that. No problem, go yes. on. Um, but uh, it was like that. It was like an Italian fair somewhere. I was with a friend and I'm like, oh my God, you got to try the Zeppelis. They're so good i never had them you've never had them you gotta try them it's so good no nah. and i was like Ugh. i'm gonna tell i you, was upset i'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> i was upset there's no world in which a person should exist where fried dough covered in powdered sugar yeah. should be refused i think so too unless you're unless training you're like celiac or something or training yeah. for a marathon or even USC. if you're training for a marathon eat the damn zeppelin <laughs> You know what I mean? If you're trying to, if you're doing like a physique fitness yeah. competition, I can understand. Right. But you're going to turn down fried dough with powdered sugar over it. Go right to hell. Do not collect $200. Do not Thank go right you. to jail, please. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. So like yeah. stuff like that does piss me off. But 100%. if it's like somebody's staying at my house and I offer them stuff and they're just like, nah, I'm good, whatever. Then I'm like, I'm going to tell you right now, when you, if Dara offers you things, take it. It's always good. Yay. Thank yeah. you. You know what I mean? It's. <laughs> I mean, except this grape spinger, but that's... Well, I didn't make it. (laughs) You you forewarned me on that one. I did. It has a hint of Dimetap. Yeah. But not in like a good way, because I used to drink that just for fun. I mean, yeah, if it it got me a little buzzed, I'd be thrilled. (laughs) Scissorp. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Scissorp flavored Oh, bought your own wine is like... That's crazy also. what? But then, but you see, this is a very insecure family. They're like, oh, our booze is not good enough for her. Right. I'm sorry. Maybe it's not. Deal with it. Some people like... I, you know, I, I never thought about this, but Dina loves a dry wine. Yeah, so do I. Right? And I never thought about it too much. Mm-hmm. But if there's like this extremely fruity ass wine, yeah. you're not going to want it. No. It's going to suck with each sip. I have I have a friend who is definitely listening right now, and she knows that I hate the kind of wine she drinks. She drinks Moscato, and I hate Moscato. I'm going to tell you right now, Moscato is pure garbage. <laughs> People that drink Moscato are trash. <laughs> A glass. I'm so sorry. You know who you are. A glass of Moscato. I hate it. It's so sweet. I can't. It's like, disgusting. Me, it's so gross. I it's, can't. It's like putting sugar in beer. Yeah, literally. Like, it's just like you're. It's supposed to be yeah. wine, and it's not anymore. Right. Um. But anyway, so those were those were the points that his family made about her. So now we just went through those. But first of all, before we even get into hers, if we even need to get into those, I think the biggest problem here is that she fought fire with fire. She didn't need to do this. Like, she didn't need to go back at him. It just seems like she was pissed and wanted a reason to feel right. I didn't think that you would pick that approach because you're really big into, well, this is how I feel. But I don't know that that's how she even really felt. I feel like she was using it just as a weapon to level the playing field. That's why I said it, because normally I would agree with you. Interesting. Okay, because then we should get into her points, because I don't think that... I think that her points are kind of valid. They're valid, but they're they're valid, but they're only rebuttals to what they complained to her about. Do you know what I'm saying? Most of them. To a de- yes, most except of for them- the paralytic uh, wedding situation. Yeah. Other and than also that, also the boarding school thing. So let's go through. Okay, them. fine. Yeah. So the first one for her, she said things I mentioned that made me uncomfortable. One was badgering me about my eating habits. But again, in the first part, yes, they of said course. she didn't eat enough. She I can understand stuff. that. Okay, yes. fine. 
So we'll skip that. But right. then, yeah, calling me, quote unquote, stunted because I went to boarding school. Yes, that's definitely something you would notice and yeah. probably be offended by. <laughs> right. Because it's just like this person had the privilege to go to a boarding school mm -hmm. and you're calling them stunted. Right. That's insane. Well, privilege, I don't know, because sometimes boarding schools are because you're a problem. Like my brother was sent to boarding school. And oh. It was not because he was privileged. <laughs> yeah. But the, I mean, you're, he it's, had to be sent away. I understand that. But it's also like it costs a lot of money. Yeah. 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 See what I mean? Yeah. Like that in that way. Yeah. Whereas there are people who are a problem. Mm. They don't get sent to boarding school. Right. They get a job at Rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They work Rainbow. there or whatever. Or some other I, or Ross dress for less or oh, whatever the Ross. hell it is. I forgot about Rainbow. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Like they work there. They don't end up getting sent to boarding school. Which So if a person gets sent to boarding school, they may be a problem. But that problem is being taken care of at the highest level. Mm. Or at least attempted to. It's some of them are, but again, no. like my brother's was not like a fancy one, but I'm sure it was still expensive just by the nature of what it is. Right. You have to pay for room and board. That's I mean, what I'm that's saying. what I'm saying. Yeah. It was it's not college like a fancy before one. college. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely not fancy, but, um, and to call someone stunted as a result of it is nasty. Yeah. I, I also, yeah, I, that's a crazy thing to say, but, um, okay. So there was that one. And then his mother not allowing me to do anything for myself, such as making my own tea. And then that goes back to the whole, like women need to be women and do this wi womenly kind of things, right. you know, whatever. So I think there's that, you know, <laughs> some cultures, yeah, you've that's, talked about Yeah, this. that's just yeah. what women do. You got to kind of let them do that yeah. to a degree. I, I really think like when my friends come over to my mom's house, she's doing all of it. Right. And when if we attempt to, she gets very bothered by it. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's, and we've spoken about that, and I think that that's fine, but I do think if you weren't raised that way, as I've said, I'm mm. uncomfortable with it after a while. It does feel like I'm being served, and I just don't love it, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, this I guess This is what whatever. these people are meant to do. Yeah. <laughs> let them serve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, let them serve you. Fine, yeah. yes. But again, so that one you can kind of... What, are you going to grab the waiter's tray and be like, no, I refuse? I mean, that's different. <laughs> that's like, yeah, again, I wouldn't treat somebody's family, especially like my boyfriend's <laughs> family, as a servant. Like, just a collection of servants <laughs> for me. You know, that might have been a better relationship if you did that. I mean, In this maybe. situation, in this maybe. situation. Maybe. But, um, okay, so then the other ones were... Teenage cousins making uh, inappropriate remarks to me at the wedding. Did not give examples, though. And then the whole family getting absolutely paralytic, meaning like shit-faced at the wedding. That is a problem. Okay, so I have two thoughts about this. Okay. I love a family that gets drunk together when they can keep their shit together. I hate, and we talked about this, I think, offline recently. Mm. There is nothing I hate more than a sloppy drunk person. I oh, hate yeah. babysitting sloppy drunk people. 100%. But if you can get drunk and be fun and keep your shit together and you're not falling down and I don't have to like take care of you and change your fucking diaper, right? I, I'm okay with it. That's fine. Do what you want to do. It's not my style, mm -hmm. but that's where I draw the line. If somebody's like belligerent drunk and like loud, obnoxious, falling down, slurring their words, I hate that yeah no hate i it. that's that's a that's a mark Huge. of either addiction oh yeah. it's a mark of just no self-control i think too demons yeah, yeah. insecurities mm -hmm. like these are all things i've done yeah. i've had and it's just right now where i'm at if I, obviously i said like i only drink outside the country yeah and i'm like a fun drunk yeah like being a fun drunk is a-okay i love a fun drunk but i i literally broke up with a guy a couple years ago because he would get white girl wasted and like slurring and loud and also like very like physical but not in like a good way like yeah. he would like push me but like i would almost like fall over <laughs> yeah no 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 I was like like as a joke though you know right, like, when right. they, like, yeah but even still it's, it's it was still like way too much i was yeah. like this is so it's annoying. like those people that shadow box at yeah yeah that's exactly what i'm talking yeah. about he would be like oh whatever come on and i'm like oh my god this is so annoying it's, a, it's childish Please behavior stop. yeah yeah no, no if you're a messy drunk in any which way yeah and every even if you i'll accept slurring uh if yeah. what you're slurring is hilarious. Okay, fine. That's true. You know what I mean? I can look past it, but I don't love it. No, I don't love it either. It lends itself to sloppiness. Absolutely. General. It generally, you're on the line. Yeah, exactly. But if everything that you're saying is slurred, but hilariously <laughs> funny and cognizant, fine. not like racist and crazy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then again, I might be entertained, yeah. but you can't be yelling it. That's another thing. Yes. Loud. But I think that, yeah, there's, there's lines to it. I mean, the right. line of being a sloppy drunk is clear. Yes, I it's think so clear. too. Yeah. So that's why we don't know exactly how the family was, but she's making it sound like they were really, really bad. Paralytic so drunk is crazy. 
crazy. Yeah, so let's assume that it means they were really belligerent or whatever. I wouldn't love that either because, I don't know, look, uh, the boyfriend could be different and hopefully is different, but for mm-hmm. me, it would make me concerned. I'd be like, is he going to be like this? Right. Or is he like this? I'm, I would imagine she You always have to point. take note who in the family has addictions because that mm-hmm. shit could be passed on. Yeah, absolutely. You know? But, you know, I, I also try not to judge people for that because they are still separate people, you know? So you just have to, I would like to think she would know if he I think, yeah, that, that's a con- now. That's a conversation. It's a conversation <laughs> right. you can clearly yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So. so there was that. Um, and then he said that she was being cruel about his family and that I should have kept my comments to myself. But it's like, well, why didn't you keep your comments to yourself? Like, that why? right there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you came in with a you list. You came in hot with a list. Yeah. And then you expect her to not rebuttal? Well, that's what I was saying before. Is like she came back, I think, just to kind of level the playing field. I think though. she padded the list. Let's yeah. be honest. There are legitimate complaints here. But she added more. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what I absolutely. meant. She padded it. Right. She absolutely yeah. padded it to be even. I, I mean, look at the, the amount of uh, points on both sides are an equal amount. That's what it's, I'm saying. Yeah, it's an equal yeah. amount of points here. Yeah. And that's, you know, the, that's crummy behavior. It reminds me of, like, revenge trips. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Like, let's say you're in a relationship. This is also something I feel like a lot of people did when we were younger. Like your boyfriend goes on a bachelor party or something like that. Right. And then you're like, Oh, well, I can't be sitting here doing nothing while he's away. I have to do something. And then you book a trip. Do you know what I mean? I feel yeah. like it's the same that you're trying to level the playing field. Interesting. I used to call it revenge trips. I'm, no, I've like, never, I've never know, heard this expression before. It's unfamiliar I think to me. My ex-boyfriend honestly made it up, but it's stuck with me. But um, I, yeah. I'm feeling this way now. Oh, interesting. Because my girlfriend is out of the country. Oh, that's right. She's in Greece? She's She just landed in Greece. Nice. She's yeah. taking pictures of her Airbnb. She's got two bathrooms, two air conditioners. It's like everything. Screens on the windows. Oh, she's so by the water. She's on an island right now. Where is she? I don't know. Okay. And she's... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not Insane. clear on any of these okay. things, but <laughs> it's 25 minutes from Athens, if that helps. Okay. It probably doesn't. It doesn't. It's fine. But the point is, like, she's doing this, and I'm at home, mm. and I'm feeling a kind of way. Interesting. I'm okay. feeling, like, mad irked. Well, first of all, we have spoken about this. I, why you didn't go is beyond me. I gotta make I money. Do, I understand, yeah. but I'm just saying, so... That's a you problem a little sure, bit. Sure, sure. So you're tempted to like book a trip or something or you just yeah, want to be out doing shit? I'm feeling very revengey. Interesting. You know what I mean? Okay. Like I want to be out and about. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, I guess it depends. I want to be out in the evening, jellyhead. <laughs> stupid yeah. <laughs> yeah that's interesting because i feel like i don't know it's also been a minute uh like it was covid last time i was in an actual relationship sure so, uh can't really compare but i think i don't know i kind of got over that in when i was younger i'm not judging you i'm just saying i don't think it would affect me now but also i don't know maybe it would maybe it would you know the, the thing is it's just that I'm not, usually I don't care as much. Yeah. But I think that after having a tough weekend of shows, like, mm-hmm. I think, that, you know, and then now I'm just home. And she's also in like a beautiful place. Yeah. Because she's, Greece is amazing. Yeah. So. so it's like all of those things. I think I the see. fact that I'm feeling low, mm-hmm. if I was feeling fine, yeah. I think I'd be all right with it. And she's taken yeah. several trips without me. Right. That's what I'm saying. So she's, I've always been this. fine with it. But yeah. I think that sometimes if it catches you in a okay. weird way, Fair enough. I don't think it's a, I think it's like, it's not that I'm, uh, we're all beyond it. Sometimes you feel like, man, I feel left out. Yeah. No, I mean, I can understand that. Yeah. That's, that's true. I was talking about it simply from a, like, when you're just doing it to just be petty. To, to be petty no, and no, to no. level the playing field. No, no, no. That's Absolutely what not. I mean. Right. Because I had a lot of friends doing that back in the day, and that's what this reminded me of. Right. Like, yes, there are valid complaints I throw in a here. party at my house yeah. just to get <laughs> reckless. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so I think, like, her points are valid, but I think she was literally matching it point for point just mm-hmm. so she could have a bigger leg to stand on in this argument. This feels very tit for tat. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't know that that was the right approach. Right. Um, because also, if I'm being honest, and if you wanted to be smart about it, doing that makes you also kind of the bad guy too. Now you're both the bad guy. Whereas before, you could have just had him be the bad guy. Right. And it's <laughs> Play like, your cards wisely. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You kind of jump. He, You try to throw down a, a, a draw too. He hit you with a, you hit him with a reverse. Yeah. No one's happy. Everyone's yeah, upset. Yeah, and now he's more pissed and thinks that you're being cruel. You're right. So it's kind of like... 
I don't know. I, I think you know. he kind of has the upper hand now again. That's what I mean. Yeah. I think she fucked up in that in that position. She really did mess in, up here. Yeah, mm. I think so too. Like, I, I agree that she had a point in some of these things and it was worth bringing up, but you don't bring it up in this way and then just add a bunch of other shit that honestly probably isn't even necessary. Like, if his family isn't around a lot and they get shit-faced and your boyfriend is fine and doesn't get shit-faced, why even bring that up? Who cares? Yeah, as long as it's not your it's man not getting hammered and it's not affecting you in any way who the fuck cares if you're I mean, not babysitting them at the end of the night who gives a shit yeah i get it i i you know? understand yeah i really wanted to be on her side with a lot of this yeah so did but then I. the pa- the padding of your list for the sake of being spiteful yeah or because you're in your feelings right we, and that doesn't make it good either, whether spite or just because you're in your feelings. You're just in your feelings. Like to me, it mm. almost feels a little bit gaslighty. Yeah. It's almost like you're just trying to flip it around and make it like their problem when it's like you could just address some of the things that he said and defend yourself like a normal person. Right. And say like, yeah, I'm an adult and I should be allowed to buy the wine that I like to drink. Like right. there are ways to ha- like she could. I'm just sorry. I didn't want to stay home with the women. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and like knit sweater. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if I don't want to talk to children, that's my call. Right. Like, why this, do I got to talk to somebody I don't want to talk to? Exactly. This is your opportunity to take a stand uh, for yourself, not right. to attack his family. Yeah. I think you missed that completely. Right. You know. Right. No, I think the the approach is bad here. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. Too. That really does stink. It does stink. Cause, yeah. But that's, you know, something that they'll have to, I guess, figure out. But, yeah, but yeah. it's great to see that she just doesn't value her parents. <laughs> what do you mean? Because she was like, he doesn't matter. My dad's opinion doesn't matter about these things. <laughs> and for that, I give her credit. Well, that's true. You were on the same page with her. 100%. That? Yeah. I just, yeah. I, right. I mean, you don't. I'm a little more outspoken about it, but you feel the same way to a degree. They're like, listen, if your mom hated your boyfriend, yeah, yeah, that different. might be a different no, thing. No, I don't but, care. Yeah, but the rest of it, yeah, you don't give a damn. Because no, you reach care. a certain age, you're like, why am I going to sit here and worry what my parents think about Even when I was younger. Like, yeah, even when I was younger, I didn't really care if I'm being honest because I always felt like this You think is... your mom was right about some of the people you dated? My mom was actually pretty like, eh, she stayed out of it. She was not, uh, like, she's not like me as you now know she's right. not nearly as outspoken as what I. what about am. your dad did he have opinions on these things he couldn't pick any of my ex-boyfriends with the exception of the one that we call steve uh out of a lineup literally okay. my dad could not um but steve he was d- also blindsided by he was upset he was the one who called him to try to make him like make things right um, right because my dad actually gave a shit and actually really liked him mm-hmm. and my dad always liked everybody else but i mean i could tell you he probably wouldn't even be able to Pick, pick them out, out of a lineup. lineup. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Um, but my mom, she was always pretty like uh supportive and just like if Dara's happy, I'm happy. She still operates that way. Mm. Uh she'll sometimes give opinions here and there, but she's not like uh, oh, you can't date that what guy. What is the worst Never. thing your mother has ever said about somebody you've dated? Because I've got one. Honestly, I can't think of anything. Obviously, my mom had plenty to say about Steve when that yeah. situation happened. Sure. But um, that was after the fact. Right. Uh, during, there was not really anything that bad. Yeah. One time I had brought this girl, like I was, I think I was living at home. Mm. And the next, we ended up dating for a little while. But my mom had like, I'd come back home mm. after dropping her off. And my mom had been like, she's like sipping tea mm-hmm. at the dinner, at the dinner table. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'd seen her look out the blinds. Okay. <laughs> and uh, when I got back, she she had said, that girl, she has a very plain face. <laughs> I mean, that's not... <laughs> and boy, did that hurt. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's bad. Not... It's, av- it's like saying you're average. Yeah, I it's guess. tough. Yeah. It's a tough one to... <laughs> it's better than being called ugly, though. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I mean, there, I remember one time this other girl I brought, I we just hooked up for the night yeah and my mom had like seen me leave <laughs> and i got back still sipping tea this woman loves her tea loves her tea loves her tea when she spills it okay oh, and she goes <laughs> and i remember walking back in and just like trying to avoid her mm. and she just looks at me and she goes you could do so much better oh my god just that's horrible. savage just she's just yeah she, but i mean these are compliments technically to, to you. me to yeah, you. they're compliments to me. Yeah, yeah, but you yeah. know what it really re- lets me know? Uh-huh. When your parents say some wild stuff to you about your decisions, yes. what they're really saying is that you 
you've got your insecurities, you've got your things, like there's stuff that's wrong with you Mm -hmm. that they can't like really do you address. really think do you really think though that our parents like that generation is really capable of thinking that that deeply about it because i do not i think they i think they can yeah i just don't think they know how to communicate it oh well yeah but okay fine i guess the, similar but i don't know to me they don't think that deeply about it but maybe they do yeah um i mean i think that but, human nature is like uh, it's it hasn't really uh, grown that yeah. severely. I think the communication has changed. Mm-hmm. That's improved. Yeah. But the feelings and the thoughts we have are all relatively the same. Yeah. So it's just the only difference is they don't know how to really say And they it. don't know how to identify them, I feel yeah. like. So it's kind of similar. Like they can't, if you can't identify it, you can't explain it. I think, yeah, if you can't, right. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't not exist. Yeah, I understand that too. Yeah. But so have you ever had a situation where you didn't like your girlfriend's family? Oh, I'm in one. <laughs> you can say this? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. What do I care? Yeah, there's members of my girlfriend's family I can't stand. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. How do you deal with it? I mean, you just kind of deal with it. You, you don't? Just, you know, I mean, like, I've chosen to not attend a lot of family functions. Because of that? Yeah. Is it a problem, though? No, it's not, because she gets it. Okay. She's she's never been like, oh, you have to come to this thing. Right. Always. Obviously, you wouldn't be together if that were the case. Right. right. Like, she never she never yeah. forces me to do these things. That's good. She will. There will be times where she'll be like, listen, this mm. is a big deal. If you can attend, that'd be great. Okay. If you can't, I understand. Yeah. And I think that's considering the, right thing the amount of times I don't attend certain situations, mm-hmm. I'm fine. Yeah. So for me, I've gone to events where. I've been irritated. Yeah. I've been, there's stuff that's been said to me Mm. and I, other family members have commented on how I'm like able to handle it well. Right. They're like, you don't get bothered by these things. And I go, well, I see these people as less than me. (laughs) I was just going to say, do they know you? You don't get bothered by things. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard. Let me tell you something. (laughs) You're right. (laughs) I know. <laughs> I'm constantly irked. Constantly bothered. Constantly bothered. <laughs> I'm in a state of bother. <laughs> All right. I'm from Bothersville. Okay. <laughs> okay. I live in Bother Town. That's enough. You All only right? get three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've spent my whole life in Bother City. Now, the point that I'm trying to say is that, yeah, I'm irked constantly. But you know what? Sometimes, go- you know what? I think uh, to my, mm-hmm. not to toot my own horn, mm-hmm. but sometimes I can do a really good job of walking away with it Mm, what do you mean like you'll not know okay you get to see how irritated i am constantly yeah of course because that's the basis of our relationship right yeah and lucky me i know (laughs) oh it's an unfortunate situation (laughs) okay but so you can kind of just like do what any adult would do in that situation and should do which is just like shut up and deal with it and just not say anything yeah and and not say anything and take it in stride i understand that have you ever hated any one of the people you've dated's family Honestly, not that I can think of. Have they ever hated you? No, weirdly enough, I know you make fun, but I'm pretty fucking likable. <laughs> I've never really had any issues. I mean, that's <laughs> Listen, I like you. Here's the thing. Sure, but I just but I know I like weird and broken things. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you're not yeah. wrong, but I am also saying this with some level of probably ignorance because I've just never had anybody be outright fucked up to me. Like right. who for all I know, maybe somebody's uh one of my ex's families absolutely fucking hated me. I know there are uh some people in the families uh that didn't love me. Like I dated one guy who I know his sister did not like me. It was mm, just like why? Almost, I don't know. She would never admit it so but you knew i felt it Mm. i just felt like a weird vibe from her always um and then there were definitely like some older relatives in the family that i think didn't love me because don't forget i am a greek you know romanian jew person and most of my ex-boyfriends were italian (laughs) so no one really cared but there were a few nonas in the family that they didn't love that (laughs) yeah absolutely i'm sure they didn't love but then once they saw me eat they were like mad respect yeah so that's how i made up for it usually they'd be like she can pack it away we like that That, i mean that's always good one of um my ex-boyfriend's grandfathers once told him on the side, meaning I was right there, and he thought he was pulling him to the side, and he was like, she she likes to eat, and she got them childbearing hips. <laughs> I was like, what? Childbearing hips are always solid. It was a 
They're insane. respectable. I was like, I'm right here. Yeah. But anyway, um, but yeah, so for the most part, I think everybody liked me for all I know. I could be wrong, but there was never any outward like aggression or anything crazy. If you've dated Dara and your family member has disliked let any part of her, please let us know. I would love to know. You might be entitled to compensation. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we'll perfect. Venmo you today. Oh, God. Yeah, perfect. Um, but yeah, no, that I also can't think of anybody that I really like hated. There was always people, like right. you said, that I would I could take them or leave them. When you break up, they're allowed to hate you. Oh, well, that's, that's different. Fine. That's different. But nobody I've ever dated's family yeah. has disliked me. At least as far as you know. No. Well, same as me. It's I'm, I'm going to be right now. I'm going to tell you oh, right now. You, you're forget confident? Even, okay. I'm going to go full confidence <laughs> on not even being slightly suspicious or there might have been. No, no, no. Okay. Across the board, people's parents and their family like me. And let me tell you why. Because mm-hmm. I allow people to be. And when these older, yeah, so fo- these older folks, this is the thing. Mm. They want to say some shit. Yeah, of course. And I let them. Oh, and duh. I, I encourage them. I'm like, them. be as racist as you want to exactly. be. Exactly. I tell them, say yeah. hard R. I don't care. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm the <laughs> same exact way, yeah. and that's why I think they also like me because yeah. I don't, I don't judge people. I let them just be who they are. Exactly. And I roll with it too. Yeah. It's and fun then to roll with that. I also make the person I'm dating the uh, problem. Oh yeah, I could see you doing that. Yeah. I don't usually do that. I love that. I because that to me feels like it's in the same line as negging. I don't like doing that, especially to their family. Like I don't, I don't. Oh, do that. I will, I'll be. Able, I'll tell Dina's family. Like, yeah, Dina is. She's been acting up. <laughs> I mean, but that's like obviously a joke. I, I mean, of course, right, yeah. right. But we all get a good laugh. Yeah. She doesn't. Yeah. But I get, I get to go. You know, look at her. Yeah. She hasn't been eating. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that's different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I go real out there. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. But anyway. All right. Uh, so let's get yeah. to judgment. Okay. Um, do you want to go first? I, you really convinced me on this one. Yes. I thought it was going to be, he sucks, mm-hmm. but it turns out she also sucks. Yeah. It's, it's a YBS circumstance. I think it is as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, initially I was going to be on your side and then I thought about it more and I just think that she handled it completely wrong if she really wanted to actually win this, like not win, but if she wanted to make you this You do be a, sliding the word win in there and I mean, you do like winning. I, I love winning. Yeah. I love being right. Yes. <laughs> Dara has texted me. He's like, you know, not that I'm oh. right about the... but. But then you also said, but that's all that matters is being right. Honestly, it's like, what's that saying? <laughs> sure, sex is great, but have you ever been right? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. literally, <laughs> I love being right. That's so crazy. <laughs> that's so bonkers. But anyway, also about that quick side note, that text message I sent Kunal being like, I don't want to be like, I'm right about this. And then I proceeded to tell him how I was right about a scenario. I never said that you said I was wrong. I was just, te- I was doubling down on what we both knew. Yeah, and but you, it, you come back with this attitude and he goes, you be having fights in your mind or whatever. And <laughs> just, I was like, what the fuck is this attitude? I was, I, Cause I felt like you thought that I didn't agree with you. No, that's not what I was saying at all. I was just doubling down on it. And so I go, someone's this in is, a mood. This Talk is, to you later. This is what's crazy. When you double down on being right so much, like it feels like someone dis- Disagreed with you. That's why I felt that way. It was one text message. Yeah, but it just normally I would agree with you, but you have no basis. It for comes this across one. so heavy when you're like, not only am I right, they d- you sound you know you, you sound like do the same thing. You know you sound like you yeah. sound like DJ Khaled. You come up here and be like, <laughs> they don't want you to win. They're out to get you, and I'm like, Daryl, what is happening? Like, what is going on? You're, you come in so crazy with being right. And I'm like, I don't remember disagreeing with you. But you're like, they out there. They trying to take you down. And I'm like looking at my phone like, who? Who is out of here? I, I agreed with her. I swear I'm on her side. But you're so... Another one. Yeah, you're so... Un, yeah, that's who you are. You're so DJ Khaled about being right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we the best. No one said you weren't. Fine. Well, I thought that you would appreciate it because you were on the same side as me with that. So I was like, I love being right about this. Yeah, but there's not enough space oh, on the boat God. for your rightness. Like and you're just well, you're like ah. It just coming. happens so much. Yeah. It's hard to keep track. Honestly. <laughs> Bang anyway. that gavel, you psycho. Yes. Anyway, it's a you both suck situation. She could have handled this so much better, and she could have had a productive conversation with this person and maybe reached a better outcome as opposed to just also pissing off your boyfriend now and his entire family. So you both suck.
Great. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, if you enjoyed this episode, rate, review, subscribe. Yeah. If you have a squabble of your own, feel free to leave it. Send We've it. got a, you could go to our podcast, uh, Instagram. You can, it's not that hard to find. All and right. You both suck podcast. You could leave a voice note if mm-hmm. you'd like. We'll keep it anonymous. We know how to do that. We're not idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we want to settle your beef. Exactly. Okay. We want to sizzle that beef on both sides <laughs> for an equal amount of time, giving it that kind of char mm, that you like. That crust dough. Exactly. All right. And Perfect. as always, I am at Dara Pollock. I'm at All Day KCA. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.